BBC Radio Cambridgeshire, the pyramid for the last time this season. Looking back over the season for non-league teams across our region. And we've left the best till last for some people. Wisby's Town, the manager Steve Appleby can talk to us now. Good evening, Steve. Hiya. Good to talk to you. Thank you for being there and all of that. Um, so just uh, tell us um, a new bit of shelving in your trophy cabinet then. Say again, sorry. I'm a new sorry. bit of shelving in your, tro- in your trophy cabinet. Oh, I think we'll get a trophy cabinet now. Oi! <laughs> you didn't have one before. <laughs> it was a bit presumptuous to have such furniture. Yeah, oh, well right. done. So that's talk right. us through it then. What was it like? Um, yeah, it was a great day. Great day. Um, you know, obviously it's been a long wait for uh, the Wisbeach people for a bit of success. And, and I think the folks thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed the day, really. Um, the fans was absolutely superb. The turnout was brilliant. And it was really just to see a red and white. So, yeah, it was great to see. For those people who don't know, how difficult is the Ridgens League Cup? What, what, how, does it, how, what, what teams are within it and what's the mix? Well, it's all the Premier Premier teams and, and League uh, Division 1. Um, so it's just, obviously, you know, you have the look of the draw or whatever. But, we, I mean, we've faced Kirkley and, and, and Deren, who's, who's been doing well. Um, and... and yeah, I mean, a cup's never easy to win, is it? You know what I mean? Obviously, you know, as proofs in the pudding with us, I think it's 16 years, like, so... It, it's, honestly, it's just a massive thing for the club. Um, to me, it's like a monkey off the back, like, type scenario where we're now, we can, we can start believing and, and try and build on things, so... Evening, Steve, it's Andy Abbott here. I mean, you say building on things, a fourth post finish as well in the league, and were you happy with that, or would you have liked to have just been a, a step closer to the top? Um, if I'm being truthful, we'll set a target of top six by obviously the committee, the board, um, and to finish fourth is, is a marvellous achievement, really. Um, but nobody remembers second, third, fourth, and people like that. So I'm, I'm slightly disappointed, if I'm being honest, because um, a lot of the season we've dropped some silly points, um, and I felt as though we could have done even better. I'm not saying we could have won it or anything like that, but it could have been like a better, a better season. Although we've had a great one anyway, to be honest. So. I mean, I mean, what's going to happen next year? I mean, are, are Leiston going to go up or are they staying where they are? Are they going to be strong again next year or can you strengthen up and then go one step further and uh, move up the pyramid now? Um, well, as a club, um, that's what I was told. We, we, we wanted to kick on and, and, and try and push as far as we can. Um, I believe Leiston will be going up. So, you know, like I say, there's, there's still Derham and, and Roxham, um, to name a few, really, that uh, will be up for it. Um, so it's just we've just basically built a you know good foundation this year, and, and obviously I won't be making wholesale changes, but just tinkering here and there, and, and hopefully we can build on uh, what we've done. So, uh, and for you, what is the highlight of your season? What stands out for you? Um, winning the cup, basically, simple as that. Because I know how much it means to the Wisbeach people, um, and and. Just to see that so many smiling faces, it was unbelievable afterwards. Like, and what kind of you know, feedback have you got from the Wispeach fans then? Oh, they're over the moon, they're absolutely over the moon. They're delighted with the way things have gone and, what, and what's been happening. And and again, you know, without that silverware, then yeah, it doesn't mean anything. You know, obviously, we've been doing it a lot better this year than we have over previous seasons. Um, but until you actually win something, then you know, it doesn't to me, it doesn't count. And now we have, um. Like I say, proofs in the pudding, mate. We, we, we actually come away with some silverware. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're over the moon, mate. To be honest, Steve, what a great way to finish. Uh, certainly, the, the season for us as well with uh, the non-league program and uh, some success as well with some silverware for a local side, and richly deserved as well with Speech Town. Steve, congratulations to you and the rest of the team and all the backroom staff, and let's hope for a good season next season as well. Brilliant. Thanks very much. All the best, Steve. Take care. Okay. Thank you. There you go. That's the way to finish. Bit of silverware. Whispeach Town are even going to go and buy themselves a cabinet. Get them.